All right, so I'm going to talk about Honky Tonk by Bill Doggett, parts one and two. This is an F, and so this is the whole deal where you got to do a lump in F. The best thing, people do it different ways, but what I recommend is your second finger on the third fret of the A string. That way, and make that comfortable and kind of perpendicular to the fret. Then you go backwards with your first finger and out with your pinky. So the intro has just the drums and people are clapping. It's beautiful. It goes like this. Here we go. Change and reach out. Just do all downstrokes. C, B flat, and then you have, you can just go an F6, B7th, F6. See how I got that good crunch on the way down? And, and the, the part that Bill Dog is playing is like, I don't want to be too loud here. So it's like the, this is like the part in You're So Fine. That's two and one on the G and B strings. Three and three. And then just move your hand. That's five and four. So it's like one, and this is kind of like the four of the one. If that makes any sense, it's like a B flat over the one. It's like a lump in the middle of the chord. And then just move up so you can do that, you know. Or it's more like that. This fits over, it's like the B ninth, right? A nice click to it. See how it Or you can just do your click chords, but that's kind of what Bill Doggett did. And then they come to the greatest solo, one of the greatest solos of all time. You can tell a truly great guitar solo when it's like it becomes part of the song and you have to play it that way. There's kind of no, there's no choice about it really. So um, I always think of this first part as kind of like, it's like a jazz version of Oh Baby You Don't Have to Go by Jimmy Reed. Oh baby. And just have fun and just drag, slowly drag your first finger all the way up the neck. And then you just got to move your hand to do that. Just think about you're playing out of this C shape F chord, right? Pinky on the eighth fret of the A string, third finger on the seventh fret D string, first finger fifth fret, sixth on the B string. You don't have to play that, just think it, you know? Just walk up with your second fret, I mean with your second finger on the seventh fret. And now we're on the quick change, right? I love that. And so he moved down to this F here. does it twice and then you have a choice here you can play a C chord like this and when you watch I just forgot the name of that guitar player he was so great the guy on the uh, Paris live in Paris video it's just slipping my mind right now but 
Um, I'll put the link in the description. He does it this way, and I think most people do it this way, but you can do this. Same notes, right? An E note and a C note. E, C, E, C. So it's right out of your five chord, here or here. And you gotta take your time and play it kinda slow. That's too fast, right? And then becomes the greatest lick ever. And it's the picking is a little better, a little faster than that. But you don't even have to play. You can play it real simpler like on that live video. Yeah. So let me see if I can play it all. It's this kind of thing. I have to sort of be in the moment and play through it. So I'm going to try to play it real slow. This is an F6, right? You move it down, your first finger down one fret to the fourth fret of the E string, and then what do you have? You have a B7. You have, so you went from an F6 to a B7 here. Bobby King does it in a, the chaser. Yeah, so. And then you move up to your F9. It's something really similar to that. Then he walks right into your B flat, right? Same here. You probably wonder what that was. Then it's like in front of the F chord, right? And when you slide up with your third finger on the seventh fret, first finger, fifth fret, you're in the middle of that nice F chord. Again, the C shape F chord. So he's like, he's always walking between his chords like this. picks it better like and then here's the other big famous part try to relax your right hand or otherwise you're just gonna paint yourself in a corner so this is part of an F chord right this is an F6 up here right or a four chord. Same difference, right? And then just go backwards. Now you just take this second finger down one fret to, now you have it on the ninth fret instead. See, that's part of like the chord that you use in Tanya, this chord. It's part of a B flat ninth chord. Whoops, let's start from the top on that one.
that's part of part two. The, those breaks are actually in part two. And then all you got to do is roll. Two to one. Just use your second finger on the second fret of the G string. Or you gotta forget, don't forget about that part. These are the greatest chords ever. Ah. Yeah. Messing that up a little bit. So this chord is a six chord. Over the C sounds great. And then over the B flat. That he does that a lot. It's like. Yeah, so good. The better you can learn to snow for note, check out this bass line. All right, let's try it this way. You hear this in part two. So F, then another F, then just pick up your finger and slide it. Yeah. I'm making it up now. So uh, this is a whole lot of fun. And um, good luck with these parts. Yeah. Or you can do it simpler. with your right hand, same notes with your left hand. So um, these notes really tell a story. Have fun with this. Um, and you could practice this, you know. You could do a loop of that. That's kind of Bill Doggett's part. Don't forget to smile. That's three and five. One and three. And then. This one go now so have fun and let me know what you think if you have any uh bill doggett stories or anything like that uh feel free to post them and uh thanks for watching <laughs>